I want to take a moment here to remind you that the world is watching us. The world is waiting for Christians to slip up so that they can point the finger. They are itching to call Christians frauds or delusional, and they have good reason. Think about it. They have seen prosperity preachers swindling their congregations. They've seen faith healers go to prison for fraud. They've seen pastors lead their people to mass suicide. They have seen parents of faith refuse medical care for their children only for them to die. They've seen snake-handling preachers quoting Mark 16 only to get bitten by the snake and die. They have seen false signs and wonders being exposed over and over. They've seen pastors faking resurrections. They have seen pastors tricking their congregation into eating snakes. This list could go on and on. Recently, they've seen pastors brag about how God is going to protect them from the coronavirus, only to die later from the coronavirus. The world is watching. Now, this is the type of stuff that drove me away from Christianity. I thought Christianity was a bunch of weak-minded sheeple being taken advantage of by swindlers and scammers. This is until I had my personal encounter in 1995. Since my encounter in 1995, I've realized that there's a difference between knowing about Jesus, maybe even being familiar with the text, and having a personal relationship with Jesus. When God shows up to a person personally in an encounter, there is no debunking it. I've seen people get healed, and they knew it wasn't a fake thing. It happened to them. They knew Jesus was doing it. They experienced it personally. I've seen people receive words of knowledge, and they knew that only God knew that. They knew it was from the Lord. I've heard numerous testimonies of how Jesus saved people when no one else was in the room, kind of like me. This is the type of relationship we need to have with Jesus. This is why I'm always emphasizing we need to have that personal, spiritual relationship with the biblical Jesus. So I want to encourage you, if you have yet to have that personal, spiritual encounter with Jesus, keep on going. The Bible says in Hebrews 11:6, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So I want to encourage you in your pursuing of the Lord, do it diligently. The Bible says he will reward you. Thank you for being in my life. If this has touched you, please share this. Till we meet again, dig deeper and go higher.